Hi guys. Um, tonight I want to talk about something that's pretty controversial in Luxport. And that would be COVID instruments. Um, obviously, COVID instruments run by Lockpicking Lawyer, who is the largest lockpicking YouTube channel in the world. Um, means that he will have stakes in the say and his uh, the product placement in his videos. He is a skilled picker. He is an experienced picker. But at the moment, um, I think that quite rightly so, he is concerned about his brand rather than the security of the products that he picks. Um, which, uh, again, as I said, is fair enough, but uh, maybe the fame of his YouTube channel is used to leverage the um, products that he sells. So let's have an objective look at this. I've been using these for the last couple of days and I've developed some thoughts about them. Um, and we'll see what they are. So this is the Genesis set. You get four lock picks, three tension tools with six tension ends, and a case. This case carries a card pocket, as well as two layers of these um, sort of small pockets that will hold a pick. Uh, it's worth noting, yes, Jimmy Longs will fit in this. Um, yes. I believe their bones will fit in this. Um, if you have other brands of picks, they will fit in this. Um, so don't be too worried about that. If you do have other brands of picks or you want to expand and keep this case, because it's actually quite a nice case, I'm quite a fan. It stands up, so if you're at your desk like I am when I pick, uh, you can have all of your picks just sitting there whilst you're working. So, let's talk about the picks first. You get a short hook, uh, and this is true of all of the picks. They come very well um, tumbled or uh, deburred. The edges are completely, uh, you know, they're, they're not sharp at all. They are maybe not rounded, but they are certainly deburred, and they keep their shape whilst not being uh, sharp. This is made of 25 thousandths, 301 high yield stainless steel, probably the strongest tool still on the market uh, in terms of lockpick durability. Um, this is the short rounded hook, uh, the short flat hook rather. This is the medium rounded hook. Um, and these are the two rakes. There's a quint and a quad, or rather a quad and a quint, sorry, both in 25 thousandths as well, and it's actually a very good show of polish and form for lockpick manufacturers if you go between the valleys and the troughs of a rake like this and you feel for the finish, and it is butter smooth. I really like these. I think that in America, for 28 US dollars, you can't go wrong. These tensioners uh, come in three thicknesses, 30, 40, and 50 thousandths. Maybe you can see that. Bottom of the QA end, top of the QA end. Um, in a beginner kit nowadays, kits are becoming more and more aware of the need for top of the keyway. Back when I began, back in, oh, when was it? 2016? Kits were only using bottom of the keyway. Things like Southord or, um, you know, Sparrows or what else was around then? Southern Specialties, um, Rare Elements, things like that. They were all using only bottom of the keyway. Basically, they looked a lot like this, but without the top of the QA end. 
Um, this is 28 US dollars. I think that this is good value in America. If you go and you try and buy this out of America, it will cost you 20 plus US dollars to have it shipped. When the kit value is 28 US dollars, and to Australia, for example, where I live, this is 22 US dollars to get shipped. That's basically twice the uh, twice the price of the kit. Um, that's about 75 Australian dollars. I can get an entire kit of bare bones with bottom of the keyway and pry bar style tensioners. Um, I don't have a bare bones one on hand, but here's a little lock tools one. Uh, one of these style tensioners. Um, you know, I can get eight picks, eight rakes uh, of various thicknesses, and uh, yeah, for that much money. But in America, this presents a steal. I think that this is really good. I have no complaints. I've picked locks from orange up to red with these picks. To name them, I picked a <clears throat> sorry, an Apis Discus, an American 1100, Dom RN, a Miwa DS, and an Asa 600 with gins. Um, all of them are, you know, difficult locks for different reasons. Um, it kind of presents a spectrum of beginner, intermediate, advanced. Um, and as I said, these picks are good for it. I think that these are good. Quite frankly, they're, they're good. Uh, I have no issue with it. There's space for a bit of expansion, and this is uh, quite a nice case. I quite like it. I wish I could say the same for this. This is the Echelon. And in here, you get six picks, four pry bars, three ergo turners, uh, a tubular tensioner, a dimple rake, and a probe next to it. Oh, I'm sorry, I had that upside down. A probe next to it. Um, let's talk about um, let's talk about this stuff on the left here first, because I find none of this relevant to hobbyist picking. This is a dimple rake. Um, and the Echelon kit is targeted towards intermediates. Um, as an intermediate picker, the first lock that you'll probably see in terms of dimples is this. This is a multi-lock interactive. Uh, this specifically is an interactive plus, but it's much the same. Um, I, want to, I want you to see this. Um, we'll turn this back. Um, my, my dimple rake isn't, isn't going in. Oh, sorry, I had it the wrong way up. Okay, it gets stuck on pin two, and I have to kind of force it. You can see how I wriggle it. Um, this is not going to work. It doesn't work. Um, the low security applications that you would use it, much like these rakes here, um, few and far between, and it is just not a very useful tool. I use this more often to get my um, disc container lock centered than anything else, actually. So that'll tell you about as useful as it gets um, for hobbyists. This is a tubular tensioner and a probe. These pair for tubular locks. Tubular locks are low security most of the time, and um, their difficulty actually comes from the fact that you have to pick it as many times as there are pins to be able to open it. If you have seven pins, you'll have to pick it seven times probably to be able to get a full rotation and an open. These, in my opinion, do not really present uh, any challenge uh, if you want to try and open one you can do it with the Genesis set because you can use a wiper insert and a short hook 
and it'll do the same thing. So this tensioner is relatively not useful. And this probe, um, quite frankly, you can sort of file it down at the tip here and then uh, sand this down to some 12 thousandths of an inch and you've got a slider pick and that's much more useful than whatever this could ever be used for. Next are the tensioners. I think that these are excellent. These are pry bars in the four most common North American measurements of 25, uh, sorry, 25, 32, 40, and 50 thousandths. That's 0 0.6, 0 0.81, and 1.2 millimeters. Uh, all very useful. They're very nicely shaped, very nicely finished, and I have no complaints about them. Big fan. Uh, up next, you know, we have similar, similar tensioners with only one side, but they are curved. These are ergonomic tensioners, or ergo turners, as they're known. They go in the top of the keyway, and if you're picking in hand like some people like to, you have a more ergonomic position than, say, if I was picking like this. Um, I personally have no real preference one or another. I pick in vice, so it doesn't particularly matter to me. Um, it's much muchness, but you know, this American 1100 probably um, is fine with both. Um, so they're fine, and so are these. Um, now it comes a bit of uh, another complaining point. These two rakes are 20 thousandths thick. The Echelon is advertised as an expansion to the Genesis and claims to have no duplicates. It's true, technically. Uh, these are 25 thousandths fix. These are 20 thousandths fix. That's 0.5 millimeters in metric units. Um, I find these completely useless. If you have a lock that will only accept 20 thousands rakes, probably it is a tight enough lock that it will have security pins or other ways to foil just straight rake attacks. Um, things that come to mind are, you know, paracentric keyways like the Lockwood Gen 6 and stuff. They probably won't take 23 thousandths or 25 thousandths rakes from the Genesis set here. Um, and certainly, they probably won't uh, even want to take these. Uh, next comes a double peak. I actually quite like this. This is a shortened version of the triple peak Bogota by Raimundo. Um, I think it's fine. It's made out of 25 thousandths. And interestingly, it is not labeled, which is uh, a bit strange, but whatever. Next is the spoon from, uh, which is again, not labeled, but it is a design by Christina Palmer. Uh, it acts quite a bit like a gem, but with a rounded tip. Um, and it's kind of like a short, medium, rounded hook. I don't get on well with this. I think that it's a poor design um, it has less utility than I would like to, um, to see. Otherwise, you get probably the most important parts of this kit, which are the 20 thousandths short and medium hooks. These are useful and very, very usable. I opened a Medico with these picks. I opened um, some other things, Dom Plura with this, uh, and some other things. They are very usable and quite nice profiles, but again, it is the same profiles. And that's probably the big issue that I have with this kit, is that for 70 US dollars, and oh, I forgot to mention this, um, this is an RFID card, which again, red teaming, cyber security, it's 
out of the spectrum and the scope of mechanical lock sport, uh, I think that it's completely useless. Um, in this kit, you are presented with uh, a lot of the same stuff that you had in Genesis uh, in Thinner Gauge, which isn't a terrible thing, but also is um, offers no innovation. You don't get a deep hook, you don't get anything different from this rounded medium or this short uh, flat. You see nothing like a deep hook here or a, uh, let's see what else, or a gem hook or a, uh, that's not my DeForest Half Diamond. Oh, well, this is another gem style hook. Uh, here we are, a diamond or a half diamond, that is. Uh, you see no DeForest style, you see basically no innovation, and basically what you're paying for is two picks of a lower thickness and four turners and three ergo turners. Uh, I think that these four can probably go. These three can certainly go. And this is not useful. So for 70 bucks, you're getting two usable picks and seven tensioners. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like a big waste of money considering you get the similar amount of pieces in this kit. So, what does that leave me to say? Uh, the Genesis is great if you're in America and you're beginning, and uh, step away from COVID instruments as soon as you graduate past uh, the usage case for these. Listen to the smartest and the brightest lock pickers in the world when you ask for advice. Look uh, at the document that the lock picking spoon has created uh, that I have helped just a little bit with in terms of the buyer's guide for your different areas in the world because I'm telling you now this is not one of the things that you should be buying. We'll put that to the side. If you're in America, buy this. If you're elsewhere, buy what is local. If you're in Europe, buy Moki. If you're in the UK, buy Low Loctals. If you're in Australia, buy Bones. America, you've got other options. You've got Jimmy Long's when you're ready to graduate. And Covid Instruments provides a great starting point and not much else. <sighs> other than that, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and um, I'll see you guys around.